Scenic Hotel Group, a place to stay no matter your staycation. From the Legacy Collection, Scenic Hotels, Suites and Resorts, and Heartland Hotels. Find your place to stay at scenichotelgroup.co.nz. The Challenge Wanaka Festival of Triathlon happens between February 16 and 18 at Glendu Bay Station in Lake Wanaka. New Zealand's largest triathlon festival, events for all ages and abilities involving over 2,000 participants and thousands of spectators and a global audience looking at the wonderful scenery in that part of the country. The main event, a 1.9 kilometre swim, 90 kilometre bike, 21.1 kilometre run, said to be the world's most scenic middle distance triathlon. Braden Curry, Dougal Allen and Hayden Wilde are among those who have taken part in the past. Let's bring in one of our top triathletes, Rebecca Clark, who is no doubt one of the favourites for the women's race. Thanks for joining us, Rebecca. Good afternoon. Hi there. Thanks for having me. Tell us a bit about this event. Now, I read some promotional uh, material here. It says the swim course is in crystal clear water, so clean you can drink it. That can't be true, surely. Uh, no, I agree with that. Um, yeah, I go swimming in the lake, and um, yeah, I, I you know take <laughs> take a few mouthfuls and um, of that water um, when I'm feeling thirsty. So <laughs> fantastic. So, so it's a pretty, and, and obviously that's that's the water part of it, the bike and the run. I mean, while you're doing it, you probably don't have the time to admire the scenery. But is this course as scenic as it's made out to be? Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I think it's um, one of the most scenic yeah, courses around. You've got um, yeah the mountains as a as a backdrop and yeah you go out to to Lake Hawere, um on the bike um, and you know over the Red Bridge and um, and then you know you're back in the Glendu um, Bay and um, yeah which is you know standing there and um, and running through the um, mountain bike park there. Now I understand you're doing quite a big uh, summer training block, uh, obviously involving this event as well in in sort of the Wanaka region. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so I uh, live live in Wanaka um, now. Um, moved down from Auckland, so wise decision, um, yeah. a very wise decision. I, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you'll agree. Yes, well, lately, um, yeah, the weather is you know, <laughs> usually pretty fantastic here. We've had, I think, bluebird day after day um, lately, so it's been great for training. And yeah, I'm in the midst like I've got a race next weekend, um, and the next one after that will be Challenge Wanaka, and followed by Man New Zealand. So yeah, right into a yeah a pretty heavy. Um, a training block at the moment um and so yeah I'm, I'm out training you know part, part on the course here and um yeah the roads and you know and swimming in the lake so um yeah i, I know the course um, pretty awful well now you compete i think uh exclusively now in mid and, and long distance events but i think i think you did race quite a few itu short course events earlier in your career was that kind of with the aim of of making the olympics in triathlon yeah, I um, did try, um, like I went over to the Rio test event um, prior to the 2016 Olympics um, and kind of, you know, and then that, the main goal was um, to qualify for the Olympics, but um, yeah, didn't didn't make the team for that and, and had a few kind of injuries and not the best build up. So um, yeah, I kind of took a break and, and then chose to focus on the long distance. Um, and I think, yeah, as, as a as, as it suited me, like I've, yeah, I think um, I've always been more longer, like, you know, I was a swimmer and I always was better at the longer events, so I think the, the long course triathlon did actually suit me better, and um, yeah, I was glad I, I'm glad I went down that path. Good stuff, and and uh, I think you debuted in Kona at the Ironman World Champs October last year, uh, 8 hours 50, 28, including what I understand was a pretty rough five minute penalty for drafting. Uh, how happy were you with that performance in your first Ironman? Yeah, I think it was a little bit, yeah, I went over at 9, 20 or something in the end. But, um, yeah, I was, like, for me, I was, like, if I'd got, you know, the goal was about fifth, top 15, 20, and to finish 17th. And, um, yeah, I was I was pretty close to that top top 15. So um, kind of makes me hungry to go back again. But I was really, yeah, like, first time there. You never know if your body's going to react, you know, um, you know, and perform and under those conditions. So it was about 38 degrees and, um, yeah, running uh, running a marathon. And, yeah, I was, I was happy with the performance, but I, I feel like I know I can do better. So kind of, you know, that's what usually happens in endurance sport. You just keep going after and, think, you know, um, going going back for more and, uh, you know, wanting to do better. So, um, yeah, I'll be hoping to go and race there again this year. Was there a real um, sense of, I don't know whether trepidation is the right word, but was, it, was there a sense of nervousness around the fact that you hadn't done it before so you didn't really know what to expect, even though I'm sure you, you knew that your preparation was tipped off and you were you were able to do it. Um, what, was there uh, any any trepidation at all? 
Yeah, I mean, I think any event, like I've been doing this a long time, you know, you still get, you still get nervous because, you, you know, you want to do well and um, things. And I had a really good build-up. I performed really well in the race three weeks before, which was also really hot. So that gave me a lot of confidence. Um, and I'd done a lot of heat training. But, yeah, you just never – you don't ever go really run like a marathon in your training. So, you know, there was ways in, in there on the race day and, you, and you've seen – you see other athletes can fall apart and you go, oh, I don't want to be, you know, that. So – you're really making sure you keep on top of your hydration um, and things. And, yeah, I think you're always a little bit worried, you know, and so you kind of are learning on, like, okay, how far can I push this? How fast, you know? Yeah, how can I pace this? What was the toughest part, like like mentally and physically, what was the toughest part of, of Kona? Uh, I think just that back, yeah, the back end of the marathon, mm. um, getting to about 32 k's in the run, and you're it's pretty lonely on on the course up there because we're doing a highway and they kind of close a bit off to spectators. So you kind of have all these spectators at the start of the run, and then when I was running along there, I was like hot, my feet were really hurting, and I had still like a 10 k stretch ahead of me. Um, yeah, that was that was the moment to yeah to kind of dig deep and think of you know all the like hard training sessions or you know the people supporting you or something to kind of you know get to. To finish, yeah, and you forged a pretty, uh, pretty fierce rivalry with uh, with Hannah Berry, Nee Wells, of course. Uh, is that something that that drives you as you battle with her and others to, to you know to get to the to the top of of uh, of your particular you know discipline in triathlon? Yeah, I mean, you you know, any like when you line up, you know, everyone's uh, competitive and wants you know wants to beat each other. Um, and I haven't raced actually, yeah, at, uh, Hannah Berry too much lately, just at some different races. But um, definitely, yeah, when, when we line up, it's, um, I think, you know, we both, both push each other. And, um, yeah, uh, we've got the towering half next week, um, which we'll be kind of battling out. Another Kiwi girl, Amelia Watson, will be racing. So, um, but I think, you know, when there's like, I've, you know, I've now raced lined up against like, Daniela Reef and, and Lucy Charles and and some big names and um you know you kind of respect them but then you go like you know anything happened in a race and um so you've got you know you can have your your better day and and someone else you know doesn't have such a good day so um yeah it's 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 like competitors but then we um I think it helps to, yeah get the best out of each other good stuff so Tauranga half next week then Challenge Wanaka middle of Feb then Ironman is that the order yeah. And then what? I suppose there'll be there'll be things beyond that as well. I'm sure you're not stopping there. No, there'll be other ones. Like I've I've qualified for the 70.3 Worlds, which are in Finland in late August, and yeah, I've have the qualification secured for Ironman post the the Taupo race or for the for the Kona race. Um, and then there's yeah, I'm still I haven't haven't decided. It's a bit sometimes kind of, uh, yeah, it is all, you know, there's so many races, so it's almost hard to pick, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, I know, like, I mean, we've got, like, Sebastian Kenley coming to race, and, like, he's never raced Challenge Wanaka, it's like, you can't, with races every month, you just can't do everything, and so, um, yeah, it's cool to see having some more international people come to come down to, to Wanaka to race, um, but actually there's, yeah, a lot of um, Challenge races and Ironman and PTO races, so there's, um, yeah, a lot of choice, so you've just kind of going to see what works and um, fit to the schedule. Fantastic. Hey, it's been great to chat to you, Rebecca. Thanks so much for taking the time. I'm sure you have probably, probably got you in the middle of a training session or something, so thanks for uh, for taking some time to take our yeah, phone I call. Yeah, i do a bike ride. So yeah, bike or, ride next was the run this morning, but... Oh. Yeah, I, I, here, so. I wish I, I wish I could say the same. I wish I could say the same, but unfortunately, <laughs> I cannot. But thank you for joining us, Rebecca. All the best for for what sounds like a busy time for you, and uh, we look forward to seeing uh, it all play out. And this challenge, Wanaka, sounds like a fantastic event. So thanks for uh, telling us all about it. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully, see a lot of um, people down. Yeah, down at the event next month. I'm sure you will. Thanks, Rebecca. Rebecca Clark, one of our top triathletes, talking about her career and uh, and her current um, current focus, including Challenge Wanaka. This is a, a terrific event, the Challenge Wanaka Festival of Triathlon, 16 through 18 February, Glendu Bay Station in Lake Wanaka. Heaps of different events for all ages and abilities. Over 2,000 participants is what they're expecting. To find out more, just go online. Challenge-Wanaka.com is the website address.